My name is Jason Hallman, and I own Cycle Stop USA in Lakeland, Florida. Uh, we've been in the business now just over 16 years. Uh, we started our business in 2003 in Detroit, building custom motorcycles and doing service on mostly Harley Davidsons. And now we've grown into uh, we're in our third generation. My daughter here works with us on a daily basis. Uh, I started the business with my father, uh, who's no longer with us, but uh, he's still here in spirit. We've grown from just a little mom and pop shop up to now we're in an 8,200 square foot facility looking at new business opportunities and and uh, trying to grow our business uh, kind of not out of motorcycles but into other facets of motorcycles. My background is basically um, the classic, you know, uh, motorcyclist background. I grew up uh, in Detroit and when I was a little kid my dad was a custom motorcycle builder. Uh, it was more, mostly regional, he wasn't nationally recognized, the internet wasn't around back in the early 70s uh, when he did it, uh, but he did it at a fairly high level in, in regionally in, around, in and around Detroit and so I literally had a motorcycle in my living room growing up and a motorcycle being built in my basement growing up and so it kind of um, it, it just it exploded from there. I went to uh, high school in, uh, in Westland, Michigan. I went to a school called the WD Ford, William D. Ford Vocational Technical School. And that's where I got my, my baseline training to be a professional mechanic. It was all automotive based, as much of Detroit is. And to be fair, when I was a high school kid, I didn't want anything to, to do with what my dad was doing. It wasn't cool enough. So I was into hot rods and he was still into motorcycles. Somewhere around 2003, I had um, moved into a uh, management role at an automotive dealership. I was selling new cars and was a new car sales manager at the fifth largest uh, Ford store in the Detroit region. And my dad called me on the phone. He was in Daytona. He's like, you gotta, you gotta see it. It's bananas. It's just crazy. He goes, if a motorcycle flew by, not even touching the ground, it wouldn't even surprise you anymore. And so before my dad got home from Daytona, I went to the Harley dealer, bought a Harley Davidson, and I haven't looked back since. We opened our first shop on December 3rd of 2003 in Detroit, and uh, the name of that company was JR Cycle Works. And I'm proud to say that, that that business turned into Plymouth Cycling Speed, and it's still in business today, but uh, we wanted to go to a warmer climate where we could ride 12 months out of the year, and so that found us in Florida in 2010. So we've had our Vapor Hone Technologies machine for about a month and a half now. Um, right out of the box, uh, the biggest thing we did was we couldn't wait to get it hooked up and fill it with water and abrasive and start figuring out, you know, what kind of parts we could modify. Um, what we're looking for is something different. We're looking for something that other motorcycle shops don't have. We're looking for an edge. And so when we started using our Vapor Home Technologies cabinet, we found out that playing with the aggregate a little bit and the different types of abrasives and how you use the machine really the process and how part the clean is going out or uh, how part uh, clean the part is going into the machine um, determined how it came out the other end so we're we're getting some unusual finishes i guess is the right word but definitely things that other motorcycle shops don't have the ability to do because they haven't made that investment yet so we're looking to do things that that doesn't just metal finish but finishes the metal i mean there's really there's where do you go after that you know, you're, you're doing something to the metal that's actually changing the, the, the structure of it and, it and it's coming out in a finish and it's, it's kind of twofold. I think it's pretty awesome. One of the things that I've always looked at when I'm growing a small business or growing my small business was the fact that um, dealing with other like-minded individuals that understood the value-added concept of uh, you're not going to find a vapor honing technologies machine on Craigslist. There's no reason for one to be there. The idea would be that there's, n there's not a reason to get, there's not, you're not going to find them used, you're not going to find them beat up because it's a quality part, you've made a good solid investment in it, and you know there's equity in it, you know? And that there's, Jesse James did that with his West Coast Choppers. A lot of people don't know that. But I was told from, not from him, but one or two people away that in the early days, if you had a West Coast Chopper and you were selling it, you didn't want it anymore, he bought it back. He made sure that the value of his motorcycle stayed where it needed to be, and here we are 20 years later, and you're still looking at motorcycles that, that stand the test of time. I think, you know, that's a good analogy to use for your, your blast cabinets, that they're going to stand the test of time because not only are they quality built, but there's equity there.